Hey everybody, we're at the Huntersville Walmart. We're going to take a look at two relatives of the GMC Denali 700C red bike. And of course here is a Denali. It is actually an older model, new old stock from 2014. Notice the orange paint. They have changed since then. I've done a video of a newer one. But here is one I've wanted to do a video of. This is the closest relative to the Denali. It's the Genesis Road Tech. It's made by Kent, the same manufacturer of the Denali. Let's see if I can pull this out and take a look at it. If you look carefully, you might be able to see, for those of you who have a Denali, you may recognize this frame. The Denali and the Genesis Rotec share the same frame. Exactly the same frame. However, the Rotec is much nicer than the Denali in a few ways. Number one, it comes with slightly nicer components from the factory. Though a lot of stuff is really similar to the Denali, like the crank set, kickstand of course. <laughs> um, rear wheel is about the same, but the front wheel has a quick release. That's always nice to see. Tires are about the same, you know, typical junk tires you want to replace those as soon as you get the bike. The brake calipers I think are the same, but the Rotec has some differences up here on the handlebars. You can see the, um, the gooseneck is different sized. This bar, not sure if it's steel or if it's alloy, it definitely looks better quality than what you would find on a Denali. Now what's neat about the Road Tech is you not only have your brake levers here, but you have a second set here. So you have dual locations for your brakes, which is pretty neat. And let me see here, get this working like it's supposed to work. The Road Tech has, instead of having Grip shifts, like on a Denali, it has these thumb shifters. This is much, much nicer because that way the shifters aren't on the handlebars. They don't want to saw a handlebar and half mount mountain bike shifters on. Much nicer design. And these are, um, they're not frictions. As you can see here, they click. Now, this one over here is actually friction. As you can see, just about the same in regards to the gearing. You know, that's the same exact crank set that comes on Denali. Slightly better derailers than the Denali. You think these are turny, which is still basic in, but it's pretty nice. And then of course with these lower end bikes you find at Walmart, no cassettes here, just a free, just a free wheel. So yeah, there's a good look at the Road Tech, which I find pretty nice. <clears throat> yeah, there's music playing in the background, of course. Hopefully it's not copyrighted. So anyways, that is the Road Tech. Let's get you a good view of it here. That's the Road Tech. That one is very similar to the Denali, but nicer. Between the Denali and this, I would suggest this any day. You got you got to start out with a nicer bike to upgrade in the future. Of course, here's a look at a Denali, and you can see typical typical Walmart quality. They um, during assembly or during shipping, you know, the bar wrap is almost completely gone off this side. Angers me. But yeah. See, this is a the handlebar on a Denali is like it's a two piece, well a three piece when you consider this mailing bracket in the center. You have a bar that's cut in half, and they mount these these revo shifts on here, and then they piece the whole thing back together. And you can see the Allen screw that that pieces the entire thing back together. If my camera will focus on it, that'd be great. But let me see. Don't think it's gonna focus for me. But that is the um, there's an Allen screw that pieces this entire thing together. So yeah, that's the Denali. Yeah, so I'm speaking a lot because there's music playing. I want that to get flagged in my video. So yeah, that's, this is a 2014, well actually a 2015, considering it was made at the end of 2014. Now here's an interesting bike, I still don't really prefer it when compared to the, um, to the Genesis Rotec or the Denali. This one is actually labeled as a Kent Rotec, 
interesting enough it's called a road tech but it's actually got the kent badge on it as you can see there this one does not have the same frame as a denali it has a frame that i believe is lighter than a denali in genesis road tech the wheel set is also a little bit nicer so in some ways this is a nicer bike you know well this is actually a pretty nice bike um there's a couple of things I don't like about it. The wheel set is basic, you know, it doesn't even have quick release on the front wheel like the um, Genesis bike does. <clears throat> but the wheel set is actually, I think, a little bit nicer quality. It still is not that good of quality, though. This one uses um, a free wheel just like the other two. So. If you want to use a cassette, you'd want to replace the well set. Yeah, that's what that's what the Aramac tool set is for. This one at least comes with road-oriented tires. <laughs> These are knockoffs of Kenda Quest. They're not actually Kendas, they're actually knockoffs. In typical Walmart shoddy assembly, they melt the front tire backwards. You can see the tread is facing the wrong direction. It clearly says rotation. The rotation is supposed to be that way. Last time I checked, people didn't ride bikes backwards. So that is um, the Kent Road Tech. Gearing on this is about the same. This one has the cheap and basic um, generic Shimano um, derailleurs like the Denali has, stock. But this one has the dual brakes, which is, you know, that's always cool. And I tell you, it's, it's sad, guys, that, um, that can't has to mark fronts on their forks because let me tell you, you the assemblers at Walmart can't get it right half the time I have seen them actually mount forks backwards which is a serious safety hazard I haven't seen it at this store but I have seen it at other stores and you can see typical Walmart shoddy assembly it's free for a reason free assembly for a reason they can't do it right half the time so yeah that is the Kent Road Tech, which is a nice bike. Another thing I don't like about it though is there's no bottle cage or even eyelets to put one. The Denali comes with a bottle cage and the Genesis Road Tech comes with a bottle cage. So we don't have a clear um, I do have prices because you know they can't match up the price tags at the time here. But between all three of these bikes, if you was to get one, even though I do have a Denali which I've you know upgraded the mess out of, if you was going to buy one of these brand new, either just to ride or to you know to ride and upgrade over time like I have, out of all three, I would choose the Genesis Rotec. It gets my recommendation. It shares the same frame as the Denali, so it's probably a little bit heavier than the Kent Road Tech, but it gives you a better package to build upon. Because of slightly better components, stock, um, gives you a bottle cage, whatnot. You can actually, from the factory, it comes with quick release on the front wheel set where you can mount it on a um, car top bike stand for if you're traveling and whatnot. But yeah. I, I would definitely say the Road Tech is definitely upgradable. It's, it uses the same frame as the Denali. And of course, we all know how easily upgradable the, Den the Denali is. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video between these three bikes. Thanks for watching.